Shieldy Freak proudly presents the portable menu multiplayer version. Hi, here we are at a freshly generated only one block tall flat world and today's video will consist of two parts. In the first part I'll show you how to use my new menu and in the second part I will explain how it works. Since there were a lot of problems with my world download last time, I thought I should find a better way for installing my new creation. So this time all you have to do is grab yourself a command block, place it down, copy the command, there should be a link in the description. Let's enjoy the show. That's it. So, well, last time I tried this it went laggy as hell, so I turned the graphics down a little, and I hope it does now. So, before we continue with the theory, uh, I'd like to test this thing, and um, you have to start the system by pressing at this button. Now it's lagging a bit, however, uh, like in the first version, you will need to hold a specific item in your hand. Then you can open the menu with a right click. So you get this item by clicking at this button here. Yeah, I hope your computer is faster than mine. Now we got the we got the item and you can walk around wherever you want. Take the item in your hand, do a right click, and use the options in your menu, like making it say hi to you, you can see it in the corner here, or uh, toggle the daytime, like toggle into night, back to day, and you can port yourself back home. One problem that I quickly want to mention is that if you try this build, you will most likely end up like this which is especially annoying in first-person camera mode. Unfortunately, there is no proper way to make a minecart invisible. Trust me, I searched for hours. I currently have three workarounds. Everyone has its issues. First, that's what I did, using a resource pack with transparent textures. But that makes every single chest and every type of minecart in your world invisible. Second, Instead of using a minecart, you can use a horse with an invisibility effect. Pretty sure you will end up forgetting shift click and accidentally riding it. Additionally, there's this picture in the inventory. Or third, increasing the Y offset so the minecart is above the player and he has to look up to open it. I'm looking forward to Minecraft 1.9 for a better solution. Also, if you have a better idea, let me know in the comment section. Of course, you will want to edit the options in the menu to fit your own adventure map or server. So listen carefully when I explain my build. To make the system work in multiplayer, I had to use the scoreboard system a lot. As you can see here, there exist six objectives called Near Player, Menu Choice, Menu State, Number Value, Hold Menu Item and Menu Open. While Hold Menu Item and Menu Open are used for players, Menu State, Menu Choice and Near Player are used for the entity providing the inventory, in this case a chest minecart. Number value exists due to the fact that you can calculate with scoreboard values, but there is no option to use a pix value. So I can use this objective together with the fake entity hashtag minus one to be able to multiply menu state with minus one. Enough about the scoreboard system. Let's continue with the command blocks. These two are the main clock, alternatingly filling a row of stone and redstone blocks. The blocks on the left side spawn the minecart, while the blocks on the right side make it follow the player and delete it. The first two command blocks make sure the hold item is 1 for every player who holds a defined item in his hand and 0 for everyone else. If hold menu item just became 1 for a player, his menu open score is still 0 by now and this command block summons an invulnerable minecart named options near him. The menu state score of this minecart 
is set to minus 1. And after that the menu open score for the player is set to 1 to show that he now has a minecart. If a player unholds the item both scores, hold menu item and menu open are changed back to 0. The first commands on the right side teleport the nearest minecart to each player having a minecart, thereby making it follow him when he walks around. Any other minecarts are deleted by the following blocks using the scoreboard objective near player. This pattern of command blocks over here manages the inventory or menu itself. To optimize performance, these blocks are powered by a clock running half the speed of the other clock and only if at least one player has a minecart around. If you want to have a more consistent experience, you may remove the threadstone torch. Just try it out. As you might have noticed, when I showed my light tool, your menu may contain several pages. For each page, there is a command block down here and I'm sure you will easily find out how to add and edit pages. To avoid some problems with changing between pages, you have to set the menu state score of the minecart you want to show a new menu page to minus the number of your page, and this command block will convert it just at the right moment by multiplying it with minus 1. Up here, each row describes one click event. The first block is the same for every row, so just copy it. In the second block, you have to enter the inventory slot of the item. In the third block, you have to change the number of the page behind menu state and menu state min and description of the item. And in the fourth block, you have to adjust the number of the page as well and finally enter your command. Change the powered area of the clock depending on how many pages and events you've got. Thanks for watching, try it out and make sure to show me what you come up with.